Well, hello there. In this video, we're going to be talking about um, who exactly qualifies as an immediate family member uh, for purposes of um, being able to travel with a Canadian permanent resident or Canadian citizen in light of the restrictions, the travel restrictions being implemented due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So please stay with us. We'll have much more on this after the break. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to check us out on our website at www.go.gooselaw.com. We'll be right back. Hi there, welcome back. My name is Donovan Francis and I'm a Canadian immigration lawyer and I help uh, skilled workers inside Canada and outside Canada to become Canadian permanent residents without having to deal with all of the complicated immigration forms that are part of that process. If you are a Canadian permanent resident or a Canadian um, citizen and you need to uh, travel um, outside Canada or you need to return to Canada, you are allowed to return to Canada um, uh, provided you meet certain uh, requirements. However, uh, persons who are non-Canadians are restricted in their ability to travel to Canada unless their um, purpose in Canada is deemed to be essential among other requirements. For persons who are Canadian permanent residents or Canadian citizens, um, you may be able to have your immediate family members accompany you in your travel uh, to Canada, provided that um, the person, the family members uh, traveling with you fit into the definition of immediate family members as um, defined by the immigration authorities um, in the context of this whole uh, COVID-19 pandemic um, uh, crisis. And so the definition for immediate family members, um, uh, typically that would include your dependent children. However, um, in light of um, the situation now, that definition has been expanded and it now includes your, um, your parents, it also includes uh, step parents. So, so, so your parents or your step parents are now uh, defined as uh, members of your immediate family for for the purposes of travel into Canada. As to our uh, tutors and and guardians of uh, Canadian uh, permanent residents and Canadian citizens. So, broadly speaking. Um, immediate family members, if you're wanting to, to, to travel into Canada, you're a Canadian permanent resident, you're a Canadian uh, citizen, you want to return to Canada and you're traveling with uh, members of your family, you may be able to, um, they may be able to accompany you to can into Canada provided they fit into this definition of an immediate family member. And um, this definition includes, of course, uh, parents and step parents. It also includes uh, tutors and guardians of um, Canadian um, citizens and permanent residents. And of course, um, it, it also includes uh, dependents of um, Canadian uh, citizens and, and, and permanent residents who are not themselves uh, citizens and permanent residents. And, and dependents include uh, dependent children, uh, that is children who are under the age of 22 or uh, children who are above the age of 22 but um, who are who are financially dependent on their on their parents and have been financially dependent on their parents from before they were 22 and who also uh, suffer from some kind of uh, physical or mental disability. So 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 your your dependent children are able to accompany you into Canada as too are your uh, parents and step parents um, and a tutor or a guardian. Of a Canadian per permanent resident or citizen. I trust you found value in this and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to check us out on our website at www.go.gooselaw.com.